Hey, good morning. We're starting session two today of Lesson 27. Today we'll be developing counting team numbers. Now, before we begin the lesson, I'm going to start with a warm up. If you'd like to follow along with your counting cubes as I show you on the screen, we're going to practice making the number 18. Now, when we look at the number 18, you see that it is made up of a one and an eight. Remembering that the one means that there is one group of 10 and eight extras. Now using your blocks, I want you to build towers for me as I fill in this tens frame. I'm going to start with my yellow cubes and fill the top of my tens frame with the five yellow cubes. So you can begin to snap your five yellow cubes together into a small tower. And then you should be out of yellow cubes and need to use your red cubes. I'm going to use my red cubes to fill in the bottom of my tens frame. We have a full tens frame. That means we have how many cubes? Right, a full tens frame has 10 cubes. That's where it gets its name from. There are 10 spaces for the 10 cubes. Now you can make one long tower of 10 using your yellow and red cubes, but I want the number 18. Now my friends know that I like to start with the green cubes next. I'm going to fill in my green cubes and count as I build this tower, or you're building your tower and I'm filling in my tens frame. So I had 10 and one more. 10 and one more is 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now that I'm out of my green cubes, I'm gonna come use my purple. If you're following along, use your purple now. So we left off with 15. I can skip count by fives when I look at my tens frame to see five, 10, 15. Now I'm going to continue counting till I get to the magic number 18. 15, 16, 17, 18. So when you have your group of 18 cubes using your snap cubes, you should have five yellow and five red put together to make a group of 10. Then you need five green and one, two, three purple to make eight extras to show 18 cubes. All right, so today we're going to be looking at this picture in your book. And we're going to be counting today. We're going to be counting teen numbers. So look at these blue paint cans. I'm going to draw a line on them as we count to show that we have counted them and we don't count them again. But we want to see how many of each item on this page there are. Okay, so count with me as we count the blue paint jars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten blue paint jars. Let's count the pink paints. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we have five pink paint jars. Let's count the orange paints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine paint jars are orange. And finally, let's count the green paints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. So I can count these together. If I wanted to know how many blue and pink paints I had, I can see that I have a group of 10 and five extra paints. A group of 10 and five equals 15. Now, if I wanted to know how many blue and orange paints I have all together, I see that I have a group of 10 and nine extras. 
10 and 9 is 19 paints all together if I want blue and orange. If I want blue paint and green paint, I have a group of 10 paint and a group of 7 extras. A group of 10 and 7 are 17 all together. Okay? Let's count how many paints are in this watercolor tray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There are 18 watercolor paints in that tray. 18 is made of a group of 10 and eight extra. Let's count how many paint splatters there are on this easel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There are a whole 20 paint splatters on the easel. On your paper, I want you to circle the number of paints or watercolor paints or paint splatters where there are exactly 18 paints showing. Go ahead and circle on your paper where you see 18 paints. Use my screen for help to see where the number 18 is and circle it. Did you circle the watercolor tray? Because there are 18 watercolors. Excellent job. Flip that page over and you're going to see where we will be counting and matching. So this is going to require us to count all of the color dots, count all of the orange and blue paints, and count all of the green paints to see which one has 17, which one has 15, and which one has 18. Now, don't forget to make some sort of mark on your paper as you're counting, because I don't want you to count the same one more than once, especially when you get down to the green ones. They look identical. They all look the same. So put a mark on them, some sort of dash mark like I showed you on the other page, and that will really help you when you're counting this many objects, okay? So let's count all the beautiful paint colors together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There are fifteen beautiful watercolor paints. But how do I write the number fifteen? Fifteen. Well, I know it's a teen number, so it has to start with one. Fifth. Well, fifth isn't a number, but it sounds a lot like the number five. So I bet 15 is made with a one and a five. Now I'm going to continue counting all my paints before I come and match, okay? Let's count our orange paints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. I know I have 10 orange paints, but that's not an option over here because we want to know how many all together in this box, and we still have some extra blues. But look, guys, the oranges are a group of 10. So let's see how many extras there are so that we can build our teen number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So all together, I have a group of 10 orange paints and eight blue paints. When I want to put all those together, I have a one from the group of 10 
and 8 from the extras. What number, what magic number did we begin this whole lesson with? That's right, 18. 18. Now let's look at the green paints. This time when we count all the green paints, I'm going to stop at the group of 10 and circle them. Okay, so we can keep our group of 10 together and see how many extras there are. This is a lot of paint. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I want to make a circle around all ten that I just counted and write a ten above them so I don't forget. That is too dark. Okay, there's my group of 10. Let's see how many extras I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have a group of 10 and a group of seven extras. That is the number 17. Good job, I know some of you got that. Now it's time to match. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm gonna let you match all by yourselves. Remember the numbers that we're looking to match are 15, 18, and 17. Okay? If you need to pause the video to do that, go right ahead. Okay. Let's do the next activity. Now, in this activity, we're going to practice coloring in groups of teen numbers, okay? Groups of teen numbers. So I need you to get out a green crayon, an orange crayon, and a purple crayon. Okay, green, orange, and purple. And we're going to be making colors here. We're going to be making teen numbers with our colors. I want you to start with your green crayon and I'm going to be using my fill, my paint fill button which is going to make me go a lot faster. So I'm going to try to slow down as you're coloring. Now remember I'm not looking for perfection. I just want to see that you put color in the right spot. We are going to color a group of 15 paint bottles. The first group of 10 I want you to color green. So I remember that this group on top had a group of 10 bottles. So let's count as we fill in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we have 10 tall green bottles, but I want to make the number 15. So when I say 15, there's that number. It doesn't have one of our numbers we know very well in it. It says 15. We know the teen means there is a group of 10, but fifth, fifth, remember, sounds a little bit like five. So I want to find where there are five paint bottles together in a group. Is this five paint bottles? Uh-oh. Down here, is this five paint bottles? Now you can see that that looks a lot more than five, right? Well, how about these little bottles up top? Are there five bottles here? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There sure are. So get your orange crayon. And I want you to fill in these bottles with me. One, two, three, four, five. Now, either with your pencil or a crayon that you just used, I want you to write the number, whoops, 15 next to it. What I'm going to do is write the one with my green because that means there's a group of 10. I'm being very sloppy about this, but here's my number one, and I kept it green like my group of 10. And I'm going to draw the number five from with orange, because I used orange to show my five extras. OK, 
Okay. Now we're going to do that one more time to show you where these numbers come from. Get your green crayon ready again. And we're going to be making 12 of these watercolor paints colored. My group of 10, I'm going to keep green. So all you're going to do, be very careful because these are smaller now. Don't scribble over the whole thing. Don't, don't do all this number here. Don't do that. That's messy. Okay. We're going to count out carefully 10 little watercolor paints. Okay. Those are the 10 little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now your purple crayon. We need to make the number 12. So if I'm counting, I'm going to start at 10. 10, 11, 12. Okay, so after 10, all I said was 11, 12. That's two more numbers before I got to 12. So I need to make a group of two. I'm going to color them purple. So I have 10, and then I have 11, 12. So let's see what this number looks like when we use our numbers. Group of 10, that's a one, and then two more extra. Now I have a whole number, 12, 12, okay? 12 is made up of a group of 10, which we colored green, and two extra, which we colored purple. Okay, hopefully you've been able to follow along with that. And then the last sheet is your turn. I want you to color. I prefer that you count and write out your groups of 10 or circle a group of 10. We will be practicing circling groups of 10 in later lessons, so it would be great for you to start practicing now. But I want you to count, 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 and then draw lines to match which one has a group of 13, a group of 11, and a group of 14. This is what I'm going to be looking for for you to do all on your own. Okay? If you need help with how to write your numbers, way back at the beginning of last week, the very first page you got from Lesson 26 has all the numbers from 1 to 20. And that will help you as you are writing your team numbers. All right? Hopefully this helps you out for today's lesson. And I love you all. I miss you so much. We'll see each other again soon. Bye.